Hello guys, this is Shar. Welcome back to my channel. Now I'm on in the daytime. Yay! I'm not a night owl tonight. I did want to come on early today um, so I can discuss Love and Marriage Huntsville, yesterday's episode. Now you guys know I don't do reviews, uh, especially this season because this season is kind of slow, kind of boring. However, I do like to point out things that stood out to me that I thought was dumb or stupid or irrelevant or whatever, whatever. And I think this season, well, not this season, but this episode was kind of boring. However, there was some, um, parts um, that was well needed um, in the episode. Like, of course, this dinner that they had. The original six. The top six. Um, good idea. Um, good call on Marcel, or I'm sorry, Martel's part to call this little gathering. Apparently, they've met there before as the comeback group. So, it was like good um, thoughts about being there. Good vibe or whatever you... Uh, better times I guess for the six of them there when they were more so of a team um, Tisha um, Started off there by saying or something to the effect of so what are we here for? Or what did we come to talk about or whatever? She's such a Stepford wife and a Stepford daughter. She's like airheaded like psh, I don't know anyway He was like Martell was like get rid of your mama your mama gotta go and, you know, that was so funny to me. And everybody at the table knew he was dead-ass serious, which he was. And, um, you know, he tried to dial it back by saying, well, you know, no, I don't want to start off that way. That's rude. But, you know, we do got to talk about some order here and boundaries and, and, you know, how your mother is continuously crossing the line as it relates to my children. You know, um, Tisha tried to say she talked to her mom on the way there, which she did. She tried to give her a call and tried to basically ask her what all she'd been saying for the whole year and a half, almost two. What, 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 so what have you been saying? It's like, girl, you are so dense and stupid. <laughs> you don't try to get all of that in in one phone call on the way there, halfway there. It's like, girl, bye. You know what your mother been saying. And if you haven't been watching her videos, People been telling you, people in your family, all them girls in your family, they watch her videos. They probably be there at the house when she's doing them. So somebody is telling you what your mama say to the very first thing to the very last thing. And she knows that. But how she tries to just act like she just don't know. And what exactly is my mama saying? Why she bouncing? What exactly does my mother say? What exactly is my mother doing? Um, you guys kind of go back and forth. That's why Mel was like, no, no, we don't kind of go back and forth. I've let your mother sit there and basically talk about me like a dog for a year, maybe longer, a year and a half, call, calling me out of my name, calling me HOEs, Bs, sluts, all this stuff. Because her mother, basically, Miss Wanda is... Basically fighting Tisha's battles, just like Funky Dineva said. Just like he told her. She's fighting your battles, and you don't say anything because you like that. You want her to fight your battles. These are things that you would like to say, but you can't say them. You don't want to say them. So you like that your mother say it all for you. That's why she don't say nothing. And that's what Funky Dineva said. You complicit when you don't say anything. So it's almost like a green light. Go ahead, Ma. And everybody can see that except for her. It's so, so frustrating. It makes you just want to just bust her in her big round face. And I'm not violent, but it's like, girl, are you stupid? And, and Mel, she a better one than me because everybody knows if they don't know. I may have some um, fellow Aries on this video listening Aries are flyery pre people. We are very, very flyery. You know, we go off the handle quick. I know me, I'm an Aries. I have a loud voice, you know, so I've been told by my family and close friends. My voice can either get loud and keen or loud and deep. It's weird. It's usually one or the other, but I don't know. Somehow my voice can do either or. And I know when I get mad, my voice does get louder. So it was shocking to me that Mel was able to keep a monotone and still get her point across, still make the point and get everything out 
and, 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 and that's what I'm working toward. I want to be able to get things out in a monotone because it's more effective. You can get further when you are more level-headed with an even keel tone. You know what I mean? With all that screaming and yellow, it makes people, it makes things go zero to 100 quick and things get out of hand when people start getting loud and stuff. So I know that, but I have to work on my tone. So I commend her for being able to just speak and all that, you know, at a level tone and all that. But especially when teacher kept saying, well, what exactly does my mother say? It was making me so mad because I'm like this big faced child know what her mama say you know she knows <laughs> she acts so damn stupid <laughs> so far removed and I hate to call her stupid because she's not stupid she's not a stupid woman she has multiple degrees and all this stuff she can pass a test she can get these uh real estate degrees and licenses and all this stuff Tisha is not book smart she's smart to she's dumb I mean, Tisha is book smart. I'm, I'm, I'm rephrasing it. She's book smart, but she is dumb to common sense, right? She is completely dumb to common sense. And if she's not, she is a good ass actress. Okay, straight up, she a good actress if she really not dumb to common sense because she truly acts like she just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Which is surprising to me how she truly, truly acts like she don't get it get it and she stands in it you know what i mean and she had this expression like what what <laughs> you know oh tisha she eggs me so bad but um mel continued to explain and she told her oh well, you and my mom go back and forth no she doesn't girl your mama been speaking out of turn to help you go against mel but yeah, so I don't. You you guys let me know what you think about Tisha. Me, I, I'm just, it's, I'm flabbergasted at that woman, you know. And then her husband sat up there and agreed with Mel when Maurice asked her, "What would you do differently?" And Mel said, "Nothing. I would do the, I would do the same thing the same way." Because basically, all I did was confront her by asking her, "Why the heck are you constantly talking about me and my babies and who their daddy is?" You know, and she came to her in a monotone. Her mama is the one that got physical. And Tisha's husband, Marceau, agreed. Like, I agree with her actions. I mean, <laughs> she got to feel stupid. She got to feel low. Your own husband is not even on your side. And, and I hate that for her. I hate that for her. Because I know that's got to hurt. It's got to feel like a kick in the gut. But she got to learn the hard way, I think. Anyway, this girl here, uh, Stormy, I, I, she another one I'm perplexed on. She makes me scratch my head. I'm like, huh? She sat up there and begged and plead like Keith Sweat on the last episode, wanting this girl to make amends and the olive branch and all this and that. And, and just to sit up here and tell Mel, eh, I don't think I'm going to have a relationship with Destiny. I, I just don't see it. Eh, I don't, it's like, girl, huh? What was all that about then? I don't know. I'm just, I'm confused. I'm really confused. I have no more to say about it because I'm just confused. I am. I don't, I have no idea. Unless it's just the fact that she feels like Destiny is so stupid that... And fake that you sat up there and waited till Mel left to yell out the door at her. And then when you did yell out the door, you yell some mess that ain't even true. And that's even messier than what Mel did. Because you sat up there and said, your mom pim pimping you out. I was like, what? Where that come from? Where she get that from? How's her mother pimping her out? I mean, is it some stuff that we don't know? It's like, you know what, Destiny? And I want you guys to check out my video on Destiny I did a few months back called Destiny Payton Real Life a Foreclosure Cheating Clout Chasing. Uh, it talks about how she pretty much gamed her husband and got him to get this big old house that he didn't really want because her husband or ex-husband is kind of frugal. And um, I guess when she realized that she wasn't going to be deep, deep, deep in his pockets and bank account, the whole relationship went awry, basically. So check that video out. Um, 
pull it up by that name because I did it a few months ago. So it may be a, a little bit down my playlist. But um, yeah, Marceau agreed with uh, Mel on her reaction and how she handled it. Tisha basically looked like this here, kind of dumbfounded, like she always does, like a Stafford wife, a Stafford daughter. And in her confessional, she was just like, I don't know why Marceau agrees with Mel. I mean, we just have a difference of opinion and we see things differently, all while she's bouncing in her chair. Oh, God. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think of this episode. I just thought it was kind of... Only person, like I said, Martel has been coming through on the side of right, on the side of common sense. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like Letitia lacks. Common damn sense. She's book smart. She get the degrees. She passes the tests. But she is she she doesn't have common sense. She doesn't, and if she do, she a good actress. She a good ass actress if she does have common sense, because she seems like she doesn't. And guys, I am going to go live after the reunion. I think they may be doing two or three episodes of the reunion, at least two episodes of the reunion. Reunion, and I want to go live so we can all get together, have a drink of your choice, and discuss the episode um yeah i think that'll be fun it'll be my first time going live so i'm gonna try to get that together let me know in the comments what you guys think do you want to go live and discuss and please uh comment on this particular commentary as well and i will check you guys out later bye